We turn to the Weather Authority forecast uh, right now, and a lot of folks who are going to the Jason Aldean concert tonight. Yeah, I think it's going to be, I would say, an okay night, Michael. No severe weather, so it's better than last yeah. night if they had a concert, of course. Uh, but we don't have an all-night soaking rain. We're not talking about flooding or wind damage or any of that stuff. Just a little bit of sprinkles, a little bit of nuisance rain. Like, it's barely raining in sometimes in the evening. Temperatures, though, not too bad. We'll be generally in the mid-70s for the start of the concert at 730 and going through concert time, dropping down to the low 70s and eventually near 70. And maybe a little partial clearing late, depending on exactly what time the concert does end. But still, humidity in the air, what else is new, right? As far as temperatures go, right now it is 74 at the airport in Syracuse, 76 still in Rome, 73 Hamilton, 70 for Cortland and Ithaca. So temperatures not as hot, not as intense as yesterday's 97. I know, I couldn't believe it either. It got very, very hot. Dew point still hovering near 70, so the humidity levels remain high. Here's live triple Doppler sponsored by Falso Service Experts. If you're watching us tonight in Oswego County, Wayne, Cayuga, Seneca County, no rain really going on there. It's mostly Onondaga County, east and southwest and south. So we'll zoom in here to southeastern Onondaga County. Uh, from Tully over towards Casnobia and Madison County to Ryder, some sprinkles, a little bit of light rain going on there down towards Cortland, keeping things a little bit wet keeping things a little bit damp, and that is really it. As we look out west, a lot of dry air between Chicago, Minneapolis, St. Louis, and I think tomorrow is virtually going to be a rain-free day. Asterisks there would be there would be a small little shower that tries to sneak through the area, but a lot of tomorrow will not feature rain, which is a nice type of day here in Syracuse in the summertime. Now, to our west, we can see the low and mid-80s, even some upper 80s. So we're going to jump up in the 80s tomorrow, and then we do have a couple days coming up on the seven day that will be 90 or hotter. And I'll let you know those in just about a minute here. Future cast hour by hour this evening. If you're going out to dinner, you're going out to take the dog for a walk, you're just going for a walk in general, you might encounter some sprinkles, a little light rain, grab the umbrella, grab the rain gear just in case. Tonight, by 11 p.m., we shouldn't see too much more sprinkles and light rain. Tomorrow morning, there could be some locally dense fog where we get some clouds kind of parting and breaking up, allowing the temperature to fall in the dew point with some new moisture in the atmosphere, and that fog could be locally dense. Tomorrow, we could be up around 80, 81, 82 by lunchtime and 85, 86 by dinner time. Here is your forecast the next seven days. Lows tonight down around 70 or so, 71. High tomorrow, 86. I'm calling it a nice day because overall, not that bad. A little humid, yeah, clouds, some sun, and also not much wind. Saturday and Sunday, a pair of 90s there. A lot of those days, a lot of the hours on those days will not be featuring much in the way of rain. Maybe a 10, 15, 20% chance of a random thundery downpour each afternoon, but a lot of time it won't be doing that. Feeling like the low, maybe mid 90s. Then Monday, there could be a couple of strong storms in the area of the front right over central New York. Waves of energy moving along it. There could be some localized flooding and flash flooding. Tuesday off and on rain 88 after Monday's 88. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we get some drier air, high pressure, lower humidity. Highs there around the 83 degree mark for both Wednesday and Thursday, Michael. Thank you, Josh. 40